kindergarten writers. It's me, Mrs. Schoonerman, and we are back together again for some more writing today. Last week, we focused on a type of writing called informational writing, where we taught our reader facts about different topics. So last week, we learned a bit about trees, flowers, butterflies, lions, and then we drew a diagram or a picture of each of those topics. We added labels and then we wrote two facts about each of those things. This week we are off to some more informational writing but with all different topics and that is where it leads us to today's topic. Today's informational writing is all about insects. You might call them bugs, but the real name is insects. So we're going to be watching a quick little video to talk about the different parts of insects and some different facts about insects. And then we'll go ahead and make a writing piece together. Let's read our learning target together. I can draw and label a picture of an insect and then write two facts about them. So today, just like last week, we will draw a diagram, we'll draw a picture, but today it's about insects. Uh, let's go over what informational writing is all about again. So looking at this anchor chart, remember informational writing <clears throat> is when we teach our reader about a different topic. So on this informational writing piece, it is all about cats. And we would know that because there's a title. That's what the title is. It tells your reader what the writing is going to be all about. So the title of this is all about cats. Then there's a picture of a cat, a diagram of a cat. So there's the drawing. But then what if the reader doesn't know what the different parts of a cat are? Well, that's where you add labels in. So here you see there's labels for each of the different parts of the kitty cat here. Like its ears, its eyes, its tail, the whiskers, teaching the reader about the different parts of the cat. And the last thing that we always wanna make sure we include are some facts or some captions, some facts about whatever the topic is. These facts are on this, on this anchor chart is cats have whiskers. That's a fact. You can prove that. You look at a kitty cat and you see there are whiskers. They also have four legs. Another fact, cats have four legs. You look at a kitty cat, you see four legs. Some cats are orange. That's another fact. There are some cats that are orange. Now we keep saying fact. Let's remember, what is a fact? Well, a fact is something that you can prove. It's something you can prove. It's different than an opinion. Remember, an opinion is personal. It is how we think or how we feel about a different topic. And that's not what we're doing for our writing this week. We're only writing facts, something that you can prove about the topic. All right, well, speaking of facts, let's get started. Let's figure out some facts about insects through this little video that I will show. Here we go. How can you tell an insect when you see one? Well, all insects have three big things in common, and they're pretty easy to spot. First, insects don't have any bones. Lots of animals like your dog, your cat, a bird, or you have a skeleton made of bones. This lets us stand up straight and move around, but insects have their skeletons on the outside. Instead of bones, they have a hard shell around their body called an exoskeleton. Another thing insects have in common is that their bodies all have three main parts. Up in front, there's the head. It's where the eyes and the mouth are, and usually there's a pair of long spindly feelers on top of it that the insect uses to sense its surroundings. These are called antennae. Below the head is the middle section called the thorax. This is where you find the legs and sometimes wings, but not all insects have wings. And bringing up the rear is the abdomen. This is the part where the insect digests food. And if it has a stinger, you'll find it here at the very end. Finally, the third way to make sure the animal you're looking at is an insect is probably Probably the easiest of them all. Just count its legs. That's because all insects have six legs and only six. Whether it's an ant or a beetle or a giant weta or a walking stick insect. So here we have Holmes. Let's count her legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. But what about this centipede? Is it an insect? How about this spider? 
No, again, spiders have eight legs and insects only have six. So now you know the three easy steps for spotting an insect. One, it has an exoskeleton. Two, its body is divided into a head, thorax, and abdomen. And three, it has six legs. So the next time you see a fly or a bee or an ant, stop and take a closer look and see if you can find what makes an insect an insect. Squeaks, what's your favorite kind of insect? Let us know your favorite too, and we'll see you back here next time on SciShow Kids. Wow, that was a lot of fun information and different facts that we just learned about insects. But now it's time to take some of those facts and information that we just learned together and create a writing piece to teach others about insects. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to make sure that you have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. If you don't have that right now, go ahead and pause the video and start it back up again when you have a piece of paper and a pencil. And, I'll, and we'll get started together. All right, so now it's time to get to writing. And I put on a special little cap, a little hat here, because this is actually one of my favorite insects. I don't know if you've ever seen these before, but these are called fireflies or lightning bugs. And they are a type of insect. So that's what I'm going to draw on the diagram um, because they're very interesting to me. So that's what I'm gonna draw. But guess what? If you have a favorite insect that you know about, then you draw that one while we're doing our writing piece today. Maybe your favorite insect is an ant. Maybe your favorite insect is a bumblebee. Maybe your favorite insect is actually a butterfly because believe it or not, butterflies are insects as well. There's so many different kinds. Maybe you like ladybugs or regular little, little beetles or grasshoppers, mosquitoes, dragonflies, flies. Those are all insects. But today I'm going to draw a firefly on the diagram. So make sure you've got your paper and pencil and let's begin. So the first thing that we need to write on our paper is our name and today's date. Today is Tuesday, May 26th. So May is the fifth month, January, February, March, April, May. So we write a five slash 26. A 26 looks like this. Make a candy cane, give it a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Make a C, then in you go. That's the way to make a six, you know. Then another slash, and 2020 is how we write the year when we write today's date. So you write your name, you write the date. Next thing on a piece of informational writing is we need to give it a title so that our reader knows what this is all about, what the writing is all about. Well, today we are going to be making an informational writing piece about insects, and not just insects, but the different parts of an insect. So that's what the title will be. Parts. So we start with a capital P. We're going to spell the word parts. R T parts S parts of which is a a sight word of. So we need to spell that correctly. Parts of an a n parts of an insect. I. So it starts with an I. I. N. 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 S. S. E. E. Insect. Parts of an insect. Okay, so we have our title. Check that box. Now, the next thing on our informational writing piece is the diagram. Remember the Word diagram just means picture. So we're gonna draw a picture of an insect. Remember, I'm gonna draw a picture of a lightning bug or a firefly. So in the video we watched, they showed us the different parts. In order for an insect to be an insect, it has to have certain parts. One of those parts is a head. All insects have a head. The next part, the middle part is called the thorax. Then this bottom part is called the abdomen. 
In the video, it also talked about how some insects have wings and others don't. Fireflies, lightning bugs, they have wings. So I'm going to add some wings. And they also said in the video that insects have antennae. Two antennae. And then in order for an insect to be an insect, it has to have six legs. Only creatures with six legs can be considered insects. So one, two, three legs on that side, four, five, six. There we go. All right, so those are all the parts of an insect. We drew it, but now we need to add labels. Now it's time for this part of our informational writing piece. So we need to add some labels. Now remember, when I said our learning target, you, we're, we're gonna add labels and we're gonna write two facts. And just like last week, I'm gonna start writing some of the labels with you, but then I'll challenge you to add three more when we're done with the video. So today, let's label together the, I'm gonna leave you with head. I want you to do head at home. So I'll leave that blank. I want you to label the legs at home. So I'm also gonna leave legs blank. You could label the wings. So we'll leave that blank, that's the challenge. Together, we are going to spell the thorax, this middle part, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. So draw a line from that middle part of your body on your insect, and let's label it thorax. TH digraph. Oh, Thorax, T-H-O-R-A-X. Next, this bottom part at the, at the base of the bug, at the base of the insect, is called the abdomen. So now we're going to label the abdomen. A, starts with an A. Ab, B. Ab, Ab, D, D. Here's a D. Abdo. And then the last part is M E N. A B D O M E N. Remember, if this is going too fast, just pause the video so you can keep up. The last thing we'll label together is antennae. Antennae. So that starts with an A. So A. N, N, T, T, E, E, and then there's two N's, A, E, antennae. One antenna is called an antenna, but when you have two, they're called antennae. So that's why we wrote antennae, because there's two antennae. Now remember, at home, I want you to add three more labels when the video is done. So keep in mind, you can add the label for head, you could add a label for legs, and you could add a label for the wings. Or maybe, maybe you're gonna add eyes to your insect because insects have eyes too. Or maybe you have a bumblebee, so you made a little stinger on the end of yours and you're gonna add the word stinger. But now, together, it's time for us to hit the next part of our target and to complete the next part of our informational writing checklist. So we need to write two facts. We're gonna write one together, and then after the video is done, you're gonna go and write one more to make it two facts all together. All right, so today's facts. We learned a lot of facts in that video. We learned that insects' bodies, they actually are covered with their skeleton. Their skeleton's not on the inside. They don't have any bones. Instead, they have a skeleton on the outside of their body. It's called an exoskeleton. That's a fact. There's another thing, let's see. We learned some insects have wings, not all. We learned that insects have three main body parts, the head, thorax, abdomen. That reminds me of a song. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. 
six legs, wings, antennas, two head, thorax, abdomen, abdomen. That's my cool insect song. Okay, on to the facts. The fact that I remember that I want to write is that all insects have six legs. So that's what we're going to write. So I thought about what the words are. Now it's time to add the words. All insects have six legs. You're going to write with me, okay? Remember the writing checklist. We have to start our sentences with a capital. So let's start with a capital. A. All. There's two L's. All insects, remember we wrote it up here, so we're just going to copy that. But this time I'm going to start with a lowercase i. Because we don't start it with a capital down here. All, finger space, insects. It's more than one, so we have to add an S. All insects have, sight word, let's spell that in a snap. Leave your finger space. Have. Next word, six. Now we could write the number, but I'm going to write how to spell the word six. So it starts with s x six x six. Finger space. Legs. Oh, egg. S legs. Oh, egg. Legs. And all good writers, they need to end their sentences with punctuation. So we add a period to say that that thought is all done. Okay, this fact says all insects have six legs. All right, it's that time. So now to your drawing at home, to your informational writing piece, I want you to add three more labels and write one more fact to your informational writing piece. And then when you are all done, have an adult take a picture of your work and send it in to your teacher. You also might want to take out some crayons and add some high quality details to your diagram. Add some high quality um, drawing pieces to this. If I wanted, I could add like the little lightning bugs. They have, they make light at the end of their, their abdomen. It blinks. So I could make it blinking. I could add a special detail like that. I could add eyes to my insect. I could color the wings in. I could, I could make them, maybe it's landing on a tree. Maybe the insect could be on a plant. Add some high quality details to your work with your crayons. But most importantly, make sure you hit the, your target. Add three more labels and add one more fact. One more thing that you can prove about insects. And I will see you again tomorrow for another writing adventure together.